All right, I would like to show you why the program Digo can be really helpful to you for saving websites. If you're doing research or just learning or want to bookmark a website uh, where you can get to it from anywhere, any device with the internet. So it's especially helpful in uh, Google Chrome. So I am going to go to the Chrome Web Store. And once I get there, I'm going to search for the program Digo. And I'm going to search that. And uh, here it is. I already have it, you see. So mm -hmm. you're going to add this to Chrome. And what it's going to do is it's going to show up right up here once you have that bookmarked. So uh, let me show you what Digo does, and then I'll show you how to use it. So if I click on here, I can go to my library, and I've been using this for ooh, seven or eight years. And you can see I have all kinds of my tags over here because you save a website by a tag so that you can search it. Uh, for instance, if I want to get to the videos that I've saved for my uh, Friday videos, and you can see there's 99 of them. So anything that I've saved and tagged Friday video comes right up here. Or similarly, other, um, if I want to go back to my tags, uh, if I want to find anything that I've tagged for computer apps, it shows up right there. Now I can also search right here. This is set to search for tags. I can also search for, um, search for text. Like if I uh, can't remember what I tagged it, but I can remember part of the name of the website. I could search that right here too. Um, and so I could search my tags as well. All right, so now I want to show you how to use Digo. So let me just get rid of this, and uh, let's do a Google search. Let's say I want to know if the Earth is really round. Oh, this catches my eye. Strange but true, the Earth is not round. Oh. Okay, it's from 2007, but looks like it could be a good site. So let's say I don't have time to read it, but I definitely want to uh, save this. So I would go to Digo, right up here. Be up in my toolbar, and now I'm going to click on Save. And I'm going to tag this. So I can really name it anything that I'd want. But let's say I'm just going to save it as Earth underscore round. Now the reason I did that underscore is because if I would have simply put a space in between the two, it would have created two separate tags. So tags have to be continuous. So you can put a little asterisk in between. I did that for a while. Now I prefer underscores. So uh, I'm just going to save that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this and uh, save a few other things and then I'll, I'll show you once again how to pull up those tags. So I'm on to a fifth website that I'm going to save under that same tag. And I just want to show you one more handy feature of Digo. And that's that it pulls up recent tags. So I'm going to save it. And as you can see, I've been saving under this Earth Round tag. I don't have to type that in every single time. I can just click on Earth Round and uh, click Save. All right. So then I want to pull up all of the websites that I've been saving. I think I have five for Earth Round. And so I'm going to go back to my library. And it will pull up my most recent, but those aren't always going to be under the same tag. So I could just click on the Earth Round tag right here, and it would pull those up. I could also, in this Search and Tags box, also type in the beginning, and it pulls up my tags that have the word Earth in it. And I can search for that. And you can see that the five websites that I've just saved all come up nice um, and neatly. And so that's how you can use Digo to save yourself some time and keep yourself organized.